Hi, I'm Julie Elster with WRWDW.com. I wanted to talk to you today about some of the extra ticketed events that Disney World offers. I fear that a lot of people see these types of events when they're planning and think that the only way that they can have a magical vacation at Disney World is by taking advantage of all of these extras that Disney offers. And I love some of the extras that they offer, but I also want to make sure that people know that you don't have to pay for all of the extras in order to have a great time at Disney World. So I thought today that I would talk about some of the extras that are available and talk about what they are, what you know the average cost of the, the extras are, um, the pros and cons, and then some free alternatives. So if you don't have it in your budget or you're unsure about it, you have other options. Um, so first, Disney offers before and after hour ticketed events. So what these are, are you get into the park either early, like 7 a.m. early before the park opens or after hours after the park closes. And it's usually a three hour ticket, costs about $120. So the pros of that are you get, it's limited crowds. So you get to ride rides without any lines, essentially. Um, you also get snacks at a lot of these things. The morning ones often will include a breakfast, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the cons are that it's expensive, and not all the rides are running. The morning one especially, usually it's only like three or four rides. So if you're really looking to like maximize the number of rides that you go on, this might be great for you. But at the same time, you still need a regular ticket to get into the park for the rest of the day. So it's $120 on top of the park ticket. So is that a great value? I don't know. I mean, it really depends on whether or not you're looking to really maximize the number of rides that you get on. If that's a top priority, this might be for you. If not, probably not. Um, a great free alternative is if you're staying on resort, I would take advantage of extra magic hours. Now, normally I don't advise that you visit the park that has extra magic hours or you don't schedule your day around it. But if you have park hopper tickets, taking advantage of like early morning or the late night extra magic hours can be great. So you go, let's say it's early morning. If you get there when rope drop happens for the extra magic hours in the morning, you can have fun, go on the rides with fewer people in the park. And then once the park gets busy, hop over to a different park because the parks that have extra magic hours are always the busiest parks. So that's the first paid event. The second one is Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Uh, this one's about $75 per ticket. The price varies on when the party is. Um, it starts at 7 p.m. A perk of this is you can often get into the park before then, like usually around four, and you don't have to have a regular ticket for that day. So if this is an off-park day, you can still get the Not So Scary Halloween Party and get into the parks in the evenings. Um, you're going to see lower crowds, there's trick-or-treating, there's a dance party, you're going to see characters that you wouldn't normally see. So those are some of the awesome pros. The cons are, the, this is going to be hurricane season. We're talking October in Florida. So if there's a storm, they don't shut the party down, they don't refund. The party still goes on, but you might not see some of those extra things that you would see, the parade, and, and those kind of things that you would normally see at these parties. So that's something to keep in mind, and that's definitely a con. Um, also, the tickets, again, can be a little bit pricey. So if you're looking to meet like Jack Skellington, you know, some characters, some of the villain characters you wouldn't normally see, that could be great. If you're looking for low rides on lines, because again, this is gonna be a very limited ticketed event. So lower rides, fun snacks, this might be for you. Um, a free alternative, if you're on a budget, you still want to enjoy Halloween, but you don't want to spend the money on this event, you can still enjoy the Halloween decor. They really go all out at Disney. So that any time that you're there during that Halloween season, there's going to be a ton of fun holiday decor for you to see. You can also watch the fireworks from anywhere off property. If you go to the Contemporary, the beach at the Polynesian, um, the uh, ticket center um, where parking is you can watch from there so you still have a ton of options for enjoying the halloween fireworks and decor without paying for this extra ticket it's going to be very similar for the next party which is um, mickey's very merry christmas party 
So this one starts about $95 and goes up from there depending on which day as you get closer to Christmas, they're gonna be more expensive. So again, it's gonna be um, a late night after the park closes, limited people, so shorter lines on rides, which is great. Some characters that you wouldn't normally see, like the Seven Dwarfs, which are a ton of fun. The downside is those limited characters, the lines can be like two hours, which is the majority of your party. Um, and it's expensive, and so this might not be a great option for everybody. Um, a free alternative is you can stay and see the castle all lit up for Christmas before the park closes. So if you just go on a regular day and you can see Elsa, she does the whole thing with lighting up the castle, that's you can still enjoy, you can still take advantage of. Same with all of the Christmas decor, which if you think they go all out for Halloween, they really go all out for Christmas. So you can take advantage of all that decor for Christmas. Um, another fun free alternative for if you're looking for like real Christmas holiday stuff is to go resort hopping and even on the monorail to see all the trees, all of the beautiful decor, hit the Grand Floridian. They have a gingerbread house that they start building in November and just walking in and smelling the gingerbread will put you in a Christmas mood without having to spend an extra dime. So that's a great fun free alternative. Um, lastly, I want to talk about dessert parties, which has become a really popular thing at all of the parks. They each offer a different dessert party. And what the dessert parties are is you buy a ticket for it starting, it depends on which party you want to go to. They start anywhere from around $20 to $70. And you go to a specific spot and they give you free drinks and desserts. Depending on which party, some offer alcohol, some do not. So whether you're a drinker or not, may, that may tip the scales on whether or not this is going to be worth it for you. Um, but desserts, drinks, uh, then they bring you out to a special roped off VIP section where you can watch the fireworks show or the evening show. So you get a view of the fireworks, the evening show at any one of the parks. All four offer different shows. Um, without having to stake out a spot ahead of time. So if that interests you, but you don't want to spend the money, a free alternative, well, there are snacks and food and desserts everywhere around the park. You can even bring your own in if you don't want to spend the money on it at the park. Bring your own desserts in, pick up some desserts, and just stake out a spot. Every park has great spots that you don't have to pay for to watch the evening shows. So grab some drinks, grab a great dessert, find a spot and enjoy the show that way. So those are some of the ticket events, the pros, the cons, the free alternatives so that you can make the best decision for your vacation. And I will see you in the parks.